Good afternoon, everybody. It appears to be exceptionally quiet at Rufford Mill at the moment, so I'm just coming down for an hour to see if we can get anything. But uh, <laughs> I'm not holding my breath. So uh, we'll see how things go. Yo, Jay, how you doing? Hi, Catherine. Yeah, it's very quiet at the moment, Shane. I've been out and about, and I thought I'd call in here for half an hour on the way back just to uh, see if there was anything happening, but it's nothing like it was on Sunday, is it? <laughs> yes, it's PJ, Chris. Actually, it looks like the river level's gone up about an inch. So, uh, we might be getting back to some more people getting uh, stuck in a short while. But my idea is to come down with the camera and get um, everyone who's at work. Yeah, that's true, mate. Everybody's at work. Um Hi, Coco. Ricardo, how you doing, mate? So I just thought I'd call here on the way back and see how things are. I'm bloody doing fine, Scott. <laughs> uh, I parked the car um, and stuck the, um, stuck the camera on a magnet on the side of the car and it's got a view straight down the board so we've got an excellent view today uh, makes it a bit easier when there's not so many people about but it's a bit windy so there might be a bit of wind noise knocking about okay. try to run your motor through I went through on Sunday <laughs> Very slow. It is an entertaining location, definitely. Yeah, I drove through what uh, I drove through David on Sunday very quietly. Is there a video of me, what, driving through? Uh, if there is, it'll be on Tom's uh, Tom's live stream towards the end from Sunday. So, there you go. Yeah, it's about an inch deeper than last time. Yeah, it is a little bit deeper. So we're just going to hang around for a little bit, see how it goes, and then uh, if there's nothing happening, I'm going to bugger off. Oh, hang on, this one's coming back through again. This one might go through with a bit more vigour than it went through last time. No, don't look like it. <laughs> Boring. The only good reason to have a diesel. Ah, I don't know. Petrol is just as good, I think. DJ what? Could have his duck race there. Yes, he could. <laughs> Could I pick my twat of a son's number plate up 
while you're there. Uh, they all seem to have disappeared, mate. Hang on, I'll go and have a look. All right. That right, looks like council have come and cleared them away, mate. I don't know. North Devon. What's the weather like in North Devon? I hope it's good. <laughs> There's a bit of sun here, but it's uh, it's quite breezy. But it's very breezy. And it's a bit bit chilly. It's the wind that makes you cold though, isn't it? Could have a game of our pool stick in the board. <laughs> Hiya Colin, how you doing? Oh yeah, in the old days, definitely. Well, all the electrics were absolutely wide open, weren't they, really? You know, that's where WD-40 came in. <laughs> I think you're ace and all, Darren. There he is. Is he going to go? He's going to go. He's going to go. Is he? No, he's going to slow. Oh, dear. The way he pulled away then, I thought he was going to give it some. Afternoon drifter. I doubt very much whether the key ring's still under the cone. <laughs> everybody knew about it, so everybody wanted one. He offered me one the other day and I declined it. My young lady took it instead. Hi, Paula, how are you? I don't have out to do with Ryan, I'm afraid. I can't video it and drive through it at the same time, my friend. Oh, somebody's taking a photo of his car there. <laughs> oh, put him a ten if he jumps in there, start bollock. <laughs> You're already on YouTube. I'm live streaming, so you'll be on already. Yeah, yeah. You're not on. You've not come over far enough. Yeah, yeah, you're on now. Hey, up, Mum. Man, Kai from Norfolk. Twenty miles to come here. And there's no happening. You should have should have been here Sunday. Hey. Okay. That, we went up the last yeah, it's it's filled up about an inch today. Yeah. Well, we were expecting warmer two foot high. Yeah. Well, the farmer went and dredged the river downstream. What? The farmer went and dredged the river downstream. Oh, did he? Yeah. How much was it, that it was a foot and a half deep the other day. Yeah. It's a picture to send his boss saying he can't get to work. Ah, that's possible.
Yeah, we'll have a look at you. You what? Oh, I've got a couple. Yeah. Are you a YouTuber? What? Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. Old stationary engines and get old engines running and repair stuff. And that. All right, okay. You see it all the time on YouTube. Yeah. You know, Tom Sunderland, I think, is a big one. Yeah, uh, Tom's not here today. What? Tom's not here today for some reason. No, it's your channel then, what you do these days? Uh, I've only just started doing this last week. Started last right. Monday, yeah. Ah. But I've got an order from the channel with about 45,000. Yeah. Yeah. Just go over there yesterday, I think. Oh, only I guess you had a little group on the front with a hook on. Yeah, I had to order thing. I've been out this morning. Probably a long way back. Just got the uh, camera up for a live stream. Oh. Uh, I've got... Oh! Fantastic. I've got 116 people watching at the minute. 116? Yeah, yeah. Is it busy down here today? <laughs> not really, Callum. There's, uh, it's not like when the 4x4 four four crowd was here on Sunday. We had a 4x4 four four crowd here on Sunday. Was it? Oh, yeah. All coming up down in discos and everything. Making mega, mega splashes. <laughs> yeah. You look mayor. I only live about 15 miles out there. Oh, you're not too far. No, no. But like I say, I've already been out today and I thought, yeah, I've had enough. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit windy for flying drones because I do a lot of drone stuff. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I thought I'd call down here and just stick a live stream on for half an hour. Oh, don't mind. Nothing fell off on the motor when we went through, did we? <laughs> no, you went through it real steady, didn't you? We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we was going to park up there and I thought, hang on, we'll come park up here. So yeah, yeah. And you've travelled how far? From um, Norwich. Well, well, stand in front of the camera and tell everybody what your YouTube channel is. And what you do. And well, who you are. I'm Norfolk Man K, and I repair old station engines, lawn mars, fix old things. I've travelled from Norwich in Norfolk to see this lovely place, because we've seen so much of it. So, keep a look out. Norfolk Man Cave. Norfolk Man Cave. There yeah. you go. Greetings. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you very much. Go through on foot. It's too deep for foot. I ain't got me wellies on. Oh. I am going to get my camera out in a bit and do a bit of video in there. I think we're going to get a hot shot. How long am I here for? I'm going to be here for an hour or so, I'd have thought. Yeah, when it's a foot and a half, it's deep enough. The water level has definitely gone up from uh, from yesterday, and you know, what day is it today? <laughs> there you go. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> the water level's gone up from Sunday. Um. Yeah, I do like it. I, like, I've been out auditing this morning, and it's 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 too windy for drone and and everything else. So uh, I was coming back, and I was coming back past this direction. So I thought I'd call in and just do a bit of a uh, just up to Norfolk Man Cave. Thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd call in here and pop a live stream on for a little bit. I'm absolutely fine, just Dave. How are you, mate? Weather's awful out your way. Yeah, it, it's... I mean, 
it's not raining. It, it was spitting with rain earlier, but it's it, it's definitely windy and it's cold today. How am I doing? I, I'm doing all right, mate. <laughs> Free swimming lessons. If you want to swim in there, you'll be my guest. Not very good at the moment. I'm afraid. Here we go, we're going to get a splash out of this guy, I doubt it. What time am I on till? I'm here till I get fed up, John. <laughs> it's all right at the minute, you know, one or two people to talk to and things like that, so it's not so bad. Head to Oxford, there's loads of places. Uh, there's loads of places everywhere. The trouble is, you start heading there, and then all of a sudden, you start bumping into these industrial estates, and you think to yourself, oh, I would need to go and have a look at that. So, uh, that's what you do. Hiya, Sam. Yes, it's definitely a bit chilly today. It's Whitney, would you come to my hometown? I'll even meet you a brew. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds like a plan, but I don't know where you are. Uh, we're just waiting for uh, stuff from the Griffiths crew, mate. No news yet. That's true. You're heading somewhere and then all of a sudden you bump into something really, really interesting. Now, what's up this beamer? Is he going or is he not? Is it... You're telling me he's bottling. Just watch two go through and now he's bottling out. <laughs> Can't believe it, can you? No, no. I... I did a live broadcast here from Saturday and Sunday over at weekend. You'll even treat me to a sit-down. Well, that's good. <laughs> Did I bring my snorkel? No. I've left that in Egypt for when I go out there in January. Yeah, I'm fine, Mike. Oh, I know. Beamer drivers. <laughs> Unreal, aren't they? I don't know. Somebody coming back now? Oh, I thought that was another one coming. I did. I thought that was another one coming down. Okay. 
It's definitely getting brass monkey weather out here. I know. What do you reckon? Beamer bottled out. It's 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 an inch deeper than it was Sunday, Matt. It's filling up again. Pam Kelly says hi. Hiya, Pam. When are we going to be able to see hear you fall? I don't want to really fall again. I keep breaking things every time I fall. Like watching a Fiat game <laughs> fixed. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It is. Um, I'm going to have to get myself some gloves. I'm still here in shorts. Uh, we've got a Range Rover coming now. He's going to give it some welly. Oh, it slowed down. It wasn't a bad splash. Nothing fantastic, was it? What's that elbow cough? <laughs> Would you meet, what's that, Macman? Who's Macman? Better view than McDonald's drive through. Yeah, just about. <laughs> just about, my friend. There's a fair bit of traffic coming through, but it's not. They're not giving it the big licks like they were over the weekend. But it's definitely filling up a bit. The tranny with the uh, roof act did well. Yeah, it didn't the bad, did they? Um, the thing about coming down midweek is you get a, a larger variety of vehicles coming down, coming through. You know, you get you get trucks and all sorts of things coming through that you don't normally get when you're, uh, you know, you're here on a Saturday and Sunday. You get all the work vehicles going through. Um, I had a big Arctic going through the other day. I normally see Russian fall apart. I'm assuming you're talking about Fiat's. a garden hose in it to make it deeper <laughs> well at the back oh hang on here we go four before coming is he going to give it some no well 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 seeing kids on push bikes go through quicker than that I don't know which video that is just, Dave. Yeah, it is. Very windy. That's why I'm not out auditing. Can't use the drone. It's too windy today. Uh, 
Uh, no, I didn't fill my flask up like a pillock. Well, I did. I filled one up. And that's gone. Uh, I normally fetch two. But uh, now... No, no motorbikes there. Yeah, he's getting it a bit. Woohoo! That's a much better, isn't it? He soaked everything. <laughs> Is it most... No, it's it's not, I don't think. In fact, some of the biggest splashes are, are women drivers. They like to wet everybody. <laughs> they like to go close to the bridge so everybody gets wet. Vicious creatures, you know, some women. <laughs> Yeah, there's a fair bit of traffic coming through, like I said. But the majority of them are taking it nice and steady. Yeah, the arm's getting better slowly but surely. I'm on less and less painkillers now, <laughs> which means I'm less and less constipated. <laughs> So I'm not quite as full of shit as I normally am. But we are, yeah, we're getting better slowly. Having those few days off after uh, after getting assaulted probably helped. Rather than going back to work really early, you know. Wasn't this another day? What's that, Simon? I was here Saturday and Sunday doing a live. Oh, look at this. Big motorhome. Not seen one of these going through before. Come on, PJ. Be a real man and discuss your toe treading on other YouTubers' patch. Really? What about all those that started doing what I do, Tazzy? Stop being bloody stupid. Many going through? Yeah, one or two going through. Six inches deep, mate. It's six inches, Yeah, one or two going through, Simon. Be a real man, Tassie. I suppose you're a real man, are you? <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, yes, first motorhome I've seen go through. Have 
just takes it really steady, he'll be fine. Gonna comment on your side, mate. I know the young lads were there first, but do they have exclusive rights to it? No, they don't. No. Well, it's like I say, when I started doing industry and all that kind of stuff, there were next to nobody doing it. And once everybody can see that I were doing it and making some out of it, everybody's doing it now. So there's no such thing as anything new in this world. I mean, let's face it, if there was, there'd only be one supermarket, you know, one butcher shop, one car hire firm, one car. You know, you'd only be able to buy Ford or whatever else. You know, everybody copies what everybody else is doing. Adam C travels around to all the car meets. Yeah. Oh, I don't talk stupid, Tazzy. You're just making yourself look a fool. You really are. Shredding on kids' toes. They're adults, mate. They're at university when I was there, age I was in army. So don't give me that rubbish. Yes, there's only one PJ, Leroy. You've got it, mate. And only one Monopolies Commission. <laughs> oh, dear. Common decency will be to keep your obnoxious opinions to yourself. Ooh. Yeah, I can. I can do what I like, mate. Loads of footage on YouTube. Yes, there is. Going back years. It's actually quite boring. <laughs> what are you watching then? Yeah, but you prefer the videos when there's more interaction. I understand that. And I've been out today to get some more of that interaction for you. But it's as windy as hell, which means I can't fly the drone. And I like to fly the drone on my... Uh, on my videos now. So don't worry. Not a problem, Shane. Yeah, there's loads of audit videos and all sorts of things knocking about, you know. Yeah, we just had a motorhome going through. First one I've seen. Yeah, haters are going to hate. I just laugh at them, Chris. Checking for solar panels with the drone. I should have seen if there were any on top of that motorhome, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know. Do a rain dance. <laughs> oh, I can't see that happening. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know. Is that where you got to take your clothes off? <laughs> no, I ain't had enough to drink to do that. And it's still bloody cold. How you doing, Donna? I'm fine. I would try and help anybody, mate. I certainly would. So I wear shorts all the time. I think I've worn trousers about two or three times in the last seven years. I never wear trousers. I have to say for the scrapyards, mate. Not as much, well, is it as much fun? I don't know. Watching some of these people coming through and splashing and getting stuck can be funny. But uh, it's not very funny for them. I mean, I know it's their fault, but I hate to see people getting the cars ruined. You know what I mean? Thank you, Don. Somebody's running some motor around the back. I don't know what they're running. I'm going to have a look. Sounds like a spinner. No, it's a leaf blower. An older gent think your dad wears shorts 90% of the time. Yeah, no wrong with shorts. You saw somebody's BMW get stuck in there. Well, today's video is... Uh, it is about here when I was here with DJ and the um, and the BMW driver got right pissed off and shirty because uh, our video in him. So uh, yeah, that's on later today. That's if bloody YouTube ever uploads it. It's been taking ages to process videos on YouTube at the minute. You put them on and it takes ages to upload and then it's taking ages for them to process it and check it out. Any fish? <laughs> no fish in the road, mate. Yeah, I think if they're going to have issues with the car, they get it straight away. Oh, we've got a new member. Thank you very much. Hiya, Dronescape. How are you doing? Are you allowed to film that puddle? No, no. <laughs> Security's going to come along in a bit and stop me. Thank you, Nikki. Bit of variety. Remember, I've got the other channel that's uh, more dedicated to this place here. I will leave a link below. And, uh, and then you'll be able to have a look at it.
<laughs> Puddle Police. Yeah, one or two of them about. Good, I'm glad you're okay, my friend. What's the name of the other channel? It's Rufford Ford and the Big Splash. And the and is not the A-N-D, it's the plus sign that you use. Rufford Ford, what, sorry, is the big splash, just sub, and the big splash. That's it. Thank you very much. You're an absolute star. Thank you. I am trying to get up to my, um, up to my uh, 4,000 viewing hours and 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, please. Oh, you'd have thought that's on bike could have gone through puddle, wouldn't you? Yeah. Thank you, Matthew. Awesome. This is what we're like. Please subscribe. It'll get there eventually. It's just so relaxing to come here, though, you know, even if there's not a lot going off, it's nice and chill. You know? There's not all the argy bargy and all that lot. That's it, Chris. That's the one. Thanks, Phil. More the merrier, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> and there's a live stream on that channel as well. And that bumps me viewing hours up as well. So, uh, yeah. It's a viewing hours that's a hard bit, I think. The 4,000 viewing hours. Takes a lot to get in. Would a motorcycle use the footpath? Some motorbikes go through nice and steady. Been going to here for about 20 years. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant here. And you can walk around the Abbey Ruins and, and everything. It's great. It is. You'd put a minimum speed limit on a 30 mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a good idea, Colin. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and the thing is, is Clover Park's just down the road, and then you've got Sherwood Forest, that's just the other way. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful around here, it really is. I'm lucky to live in such a beautiful place, really. I'm sitting on a beach bar in Lanzarote drinking cold beer in 29 degrees watching a puddle in England. <laughs> yeah, you go for it, Robert. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's about an inch deeper, mate. It's a little bit deeper now. It is a nice place to chill, mate. It really is. Nice. It's nice enough to freeze your nuts off. <laughs> Yes, um, that was a bad accident. I think it was badly injured, actually. The lad that did that on the motorbike. Yeah, he went straight over the handlebars, didn't he? Yeah. Let's have a chat with this one.
There you go. Hello, nice and slow and get through. People actually turning around, don't want to go through. No, no, no. No, it didn't kill him, but he went very well. Somebody said he lost his leg, I don't know. Uh, there's that many rumors going around. Anything come about after a van nearly crashed into you that crashed in the fence? Uh, I don't know what about, right, to be honest. Now, I don't know what's up with Van on the other side. He's just seen other people go through. Uh, he's placed man pants on. Catch and carry windows and doors. There you go. I'm from Northern Ireland, which is wetter than that puddle. It bloody is in Ireland. It always seems to rain. I watch your YouTube channel all the time, Liam from Sheffield. All right, Liam, just down the road from me then. I, I drew through it on Sunday, mate. Oh, 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 right, yeah, the one in, uh, <laughs> the one in Leeds, yeah. Oh, blimey, no, I never heard a thing about that afterwards. <coughs> yeah, and they drove off with the front wheel half hanging off and everything. They were bloody crackers. It's wetter than an otter's pocket. <laughs> Yeah, it is green for a reason, because there's lots of rain, mate. Are oh, your parents live in Blythe? Yeah. Nice little village, Blythe, actually. As long as you don't live on that main road that goes through. But some of the little back roads that go up are really nice. Like watching paint dry. <laughs> well, you could say that. You definitely could say that. I'm going to put my tripod up and then I can sit on bonnet of my car because at the moment the camera's set up on the bonnet of my car. So uh, it's going to get me out the road a bit. Chucking it down to in Peterborough. Sweden, hey up, Lars. How you doing, mate? Oh, you're only up the road in Derby. Derby's not far. Derby's about, what, 35 miles away, I'd have thought. Am I an ex para? X9 squadron, mate. Airborne. Right, you might, might get wiggled about a bit now.
There you go. You're off. How you doing? So you come down and have a look. It looks, uh, they do put them on uh, YouTube. They do put them on YouTube. Yeah. I've got a live stream on YouTube at the minute. Oh, excellent. And he loves watching it. He loves it. So there we go. There we go. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It should have been here Sunday when all four before people were going through. Well, is it? Sunday's a good day. We have him on a show with us, so we'll have to come back. Uh, yeah, Sunday's is a good day. You've had four pints, I'm not trying to make you move. No, I'm just moving it, mate. Just out at, so I'm out at road. I'm not studying road. Here we go. We've got four before coming. Is he going to? Yes, he's going to. Woo! I'll give him a thumbs up for that. That was good. And <laughs> drink some raw water into the engine itself, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Quite a few get stuck. Oh, yeah, there's some serious damage there. All right, we'll get the box, yeah. I'll press in the water. Yeah. Fetching stuff up underneath panels. Oh, they're all what a bear look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all good for <laughs> Yeah. You know, the police are, uh, if it comes up busted and that police are, uh, another one coming. Yeah. Ah, that's a bit better. I'm not studying the road now. I see. Uh, so Sundays are best, are they? Oh, Sundays, yeah, yeah. Sundays, there's always loads of people about there's Sunday. There's some heavy rain as well, uh, um, it's an inch higher now than it was on Sunday. Oh, I see, yeah. It is. Oh, these are bottled out and gone really slow. Give me thumbs up going through. <laughs> uh, I recognize it. Another one coming in a minute. The guys at the scrappy, I don't know what's going to happen, Shane. I'm not worried. It's over and done with. I don't think they realized what they were doing and how much aggro they'd get for. Uh, you know, for the actions that they took. I mean, the Google page is gone, the Facebook page is gone. They're getting countless phone calls. And I had a, a reporter talking to me about it yesterday. We're going to get all the national press if we can. I see. I got assaulted at a scrapyard yeah. other sat yeah. other Monday when I was videoing there. Oh, you can't move down here in summer. Oh, I was seeing some videos. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a great place for kids as well. They, I mean, <laughs> they love to stand on bridge and get wet. The people driving through like to smash them and wet them. Yeah. And those big cameras like to video them. Yeah. So everybody has a good time, you know. Enjoy watching the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, the water does look wet, Shane, <laughs> funnily yeah. enough. Yeah. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it wasn't Shane, that was it. Uh, usually drugs are taxi fiction. Well, it could be. How are you doing, Tina? Yeah, I've been round. Uh, I've been round the lake and the abbey and everything. Done some photography round there. Yes, I'm all right, mate. Not so bad at all. Alright, well, don't walk on the bridge. Let's go about this way. Have you see anything coming fast, so move or else you're going to get wet. Yeah, we don't <laughs> see anything wet, do we? Right, thank you. You've got to pop off. 
Oh, the archers, 15 minutes. <laughs> That's been going some years, hasn't it? The archers. Yeah, it got done for stolen um, copper. How many? Fifty thousand. <laughs> All right, where are you? All right. Okay. got a live stream going, it's got 90 people watching and that's been on for an hour. I'll, I'll give it another hour and then I'll call it two seconds. Oh. You what, sorry? All right, nice. Right, and because she's made you so to be twice. Yeah? <laughs> ah, she's a naughty dog. All right, darling. All right. Right. Yeah. You'd like to know some of my secrets? What secrets? <laughs> I don't think I've got any secrets anyway. It's raining in Mansfield. I've got one in the boot, mate. I'll get my body out. What do I use to upload my videos? Well, live streaming at the moment. I'm using... Is it Stream Mule? Uh, which means I can, I can upload to like three, four different channels all at once. So I'm live streaming to three channels at the moment. Time for a pint. <laughs> no wrong with that. Thanks for alleviating the homesickness for a Texan who grew up there. I don't know. What's it like in Texas? I imagine it's... Is it warm still there? I would have thought it were okay. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, uh, there's a couple said they've subscribed to your channel. Uh, I've got a couple. Uh, PJ Audits is my... Is my big one. Is it PJ Audits? PJ Audits. We'll have a look. What's your one? If it's the one. Hiya, Tina. How you doing, love? Leslie Phillips has died at the age of 98 and he's had a good innings. <laughs> Yeah, one or two float around here when it's that deep. Warm in Texas, but you're coming back at Christmas. I'm off to Egypt just uh, about 4th or 5th of January. I'm going out there for a month. Looking forward to that. He got, he got internet. Yes, PJ Orbits, look. That's me. And then the other one is... Uh, Somebody else? Yeah, yeah, that's one of mine. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got the other one, which is for this uh, channel. 
subscribe. There we go. Good man. Marvel stuff. Be like a pint or two. What's my tipple? Uh, I drink very rarely, to be honest, because I'm always driving. Um, but the uh, <laughs> the girlfriend's Polish, and when we go around her house, uh, a grandmother gets me drinking uh, neat vodka in little shot glasses. You know, them little them little ones about that big, and she fills it up and like neck it in one go. And we got through a bottle of vodka between us uh, a couple of months back. <laughs> Get DJ to come. DJ's been here. Yeah, Pepsi Max is my normal one. And coffee. When am I going to get a bite like DJ? I'll probably, I'm going to leave it till I come back from, uh, from Egypt. And weather's a bit warmer to go riding on it. But, uh, see, DJ, he doesn't like people to know his car and all that kind of stuff, which I understand. Me, personally, I don't give a shit. You know? And plus, well, as you can probably tell, I keep falling over and breaking things. I don't walk that well. Not not now. Um, I've got a... Um, I've got what they call transverse myelitis. They thought it was MS for years. Uh, but it's um, black coffee, no sugar. It's just sweet enough. You've got it, Shane. Yeah, they thought it was MS at first for a lot of years. And then uh, they did a, a, another... Um, another medical on me and changed the diagnosis to transverse myelitis, which is very similar. It's uh, attacks the central nervous system. If you don't drink much, you might as well go big on the on Polish vodka. Yes. Get some stabilizers. Well, that's true. <laughs> I could do with some stabilizers when I'm bloody walking, seeing me falling over and breaking my bleeding arms. I broke both arms in three years. Did my left arm three years ago, and then I did this one a few weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, it's getting a bit silly now, I think. Mobility scooter? No, thank you. Not going to happen. You've got an author. <laughs> um, yeah, girlfriend's just been on the phone and told me that uh, she's been out with a dog, Luna, and uh, can't believe how low it is. We are flooded down here in West Sussex. And you've still got a... a a nose pipe man, I bet. Yeah, she's been out with her dog. The dog dived in the mud. Got absolutely bloody drenched and everything. And then uh, <laughs> she's had to go home, bath the dog, and then have a shower herself. <laughs> Are you going to be here for a couple of minutes? Will you just watch that for two minutes while I need to get myself a drink? You can talk to them if you like. Yeah, right, so... Now we've got, what's your first name? Adam. We've got Adam here from... Norfolk Man Cave. Norfolk Man Cave. He's taking over while I go and have a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and fetch one anyway. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. There's your host now going for a cup of coffee. So I'll keep your company and guard his phone. There. We have travelled down from... East Durham in Norfolk. We came yesterday, went to Derbyshire for the night and stopped there yesterday and stopped there again on the way back today. So when we leave here, we've got two and a half hours to go home. <clears throat> we have come from Norfolk down to the famous Rufford Ford we keep seeing on YouTube. We time, well, we was expecting two and a half foot of water and yep. broken down and hydrolock motors. Yep. And disco's pulling everyone out, but we've seen very little. No, no, today you come out. <laughs> we came yesterday as well, and that was even lower than this. Were it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the brother lives in Norfolk, it's Sea Paling. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, Roy Sea Paling, yeah, yeah, it's lovely up there. It's down there uh, about a few months ago. Was you? 
Yeah. Well, we stayed at Matlock last, or Alphaton actually, last night. Uh, we, you know, so we thought we'll come here yesterday and then we'll go up across the Peak District, across the Cat Fiddle, and then stop back here again today on the way home. Uh, so. We bike today. Oh, hello. Someone's put, welcome, Adam. Hello, Adam. Well, hello. <laughs> Derbyshire. Well, we're not in Derbyshire at the minute, Thomas. We're actually in Nottinghamshire, this is, isn't it? Yeah, this is Nottinghamshire, Rufford But I was actually in Alpha and Derbyshire, and then this morning we had a ride over the Cat and Fiddle from Matlock to Macclesfield, I think it is. Not Matlock. Buxton to Macclesfield. Yeah. Lovely out here, countryside. Oh, that was very nice across the Peak District this morning. That was really nice. So lovely to see you guys. I've never done a live stream before. Never. <laughs> My channel is purely posted videos, but nothing normally like this. I do stationary engines as a rule. Get old engines running. They ain't been running for 30 years. <clears throat> Bit of car body work, converting my van, all kinds of stuff on my channel. So look me up, Norfolk Man Cave. One coming behind you here. Oh, someone's coming. Here comes a van. Go on, give it the beans. Speed of the onions, boy. No, they haven't done it. They ain't fed at the onions, look. Have you heard of uh, Reuben down there in Norfolk? No. A guy called Reuben is a Romani gypsy, and he does some really interesting videos. Does he? Down there, yeah. oh. he lives near, near my brother, T. Palin. Ah, yeah. I shall have to do a live stream on my channel. I've never done a live stream. I don't know whether my phone that run on gas would actually do one. Gaffer's coming. Oh, the gaffer's now coming back. Gaffer's coming back. Hi, Adam. What's your channel name? Well, my channel name is Norfolk Man Cave. He's advertising himself. I'm advertising myself. Well, people keep asking what my channel name is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. If you come here, make sure you fetch a flask and something to eat. One coffee, one Cornish pasta, six pounds. I know. Oh, we have noticed that ain't the cheapest to drink here, is it? No. Not cheapest to parking, no. No, we've dived on the side of the We got stung five pounds yesterday going that car park there. Yeah. Little, Diver, isn't it? Yeah, little man stood in his hut and jumped out with a little machine. We was like, well, what's going on? Yeah, cash payment and everything and all, yeah. Oh, I see. Don't let Any, the car come in. Oh, well. Anyhow, your host is back now. <laughs> Thank you very much for your interaction. I said, I've never done a live stream. There you go. You've done one now. Norfolk Man Cave. There you go. He's put it on there, look. Someone That's put it. it on That's there. your link. Marvellous. <laughs> there you go. Get loads of subscribers. Lovely. Thank you very much. What's your name? Mine, Pete. Yeah, Pete. Oh, Hello. it's my mate DJ. He'll put you on. Oh, definitely. Hey, you know me. I'm Adam. So there we go. <laughs> How you doing, DJ? Well, thank you very much, Shane, for subscribing to my channel. Excellent stuff. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to eat my Cornish pasta. Oh, don't now. blame you. We'll let you talk to your fans. Right, Adam out. See you on later. Thank you very much. I'm the one in the blue jacket and the silly black hat. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Somebody's got to debutize for me, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, where am I going next? I don't know, mate. Depends what the weather's like. <laughs> I mean, I go one direction and weather's bad and you go in another direction, it's not so bad. So it all depends. Yeah, a rough with Cornish pasta. Have you, uh, have you been out videoing, DJ, or have you just finished your shift at McDonald's? Definitely need to bloody guard it. Oh dear, it's starting to rain. Looks like finish the pasta, get the dolly out. 
Or he's building a car. This is windy as hell here, mate. And raining. Show you the past. There you go. Going down, look. Water level's going up, DJ. It's up to, uh, gone up about an inch or so since uh, Sunday. Maybe a bit more. The audit mobile. <laughs> now AJ runs around on a mobility scooter. AJ audits. Actually, it's not a bad pasty, but it's very expensive. Mm. Filling on it's quite good luck. You got any good ones? <laughs> not really, no. Not as deep as it was. No, but they go through past the when it's shallow. Yeah. Big splashes. So what phone's that one? Uh, S22 Ultra. What's it made then? Uh, oh, S. Sorry. Samsung S22. Off the camera, isn't it? Mm. All right, mate. Thank you. All right, there. Thanks, Bill. I think it's brolly time now because it is definitely raining. That's it, Dolly's up now. Show me a see a see a mud. <laughs> uh, could be. I told the Yabby Street on Sunday. Just got to be careful because it is quite breezy and it's uh, blowing the old brolly around. <sighs> nice to hear Norfolk accent again. You're from Norfolk. You know, Lincoln's, Lincoln's a nice colleague. I like Lincoln. Yes, blistering sunshine, mate. <laughs> blistering sunshine. I don't know. What a day, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, if it keeps this up, I'm going to get another 15 minutes and then I'm going to call it Tuesday. And uh, hopefully... 
DJ should go through on his bike. <laughs> I like that name, I was Patching Wagon. Yeah, Steep Hill's all right. Yeah, it used to be, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 16 Independent Pastime, the company, Parachute Regiment, back in about 1980. Um, and um, I think it was, was it Newland Road it was on? I can't remember. I keep saying Newfound Pool, but that's, that's Leicester. Um, I used to run us up and down there. Up and down steep hill. Yeah. Well, I say us. I used to run them up and down. <laughs> yeah. I was only there for a short while, very short while. Just went there as permanent staff for about a month or so. And then moved on. Uh, no news yet. No news yet, mate. Carl Mundy watching again. <laughs> yeah, we've had uh, more diverse vehicles going through today than you get on a on a weekend. We had a camper van going through and quite a few works vehicles going through, so Back to work I go. Bye, everybody. <laughs> My cat's Bigfoot walking past. Quite a few Bigfoots around here, mate. Yeah, we've got Manton just down the road. And Maltby's not that far away. I don't think that'll happen, uh, Shane. I really don't. There's the old brolly again there, look. Yeah, it's uh, persisting it down with pissing rain at the moment. Oh, somebody's twitted me. I don't know what they've twitted me for. I didn't know I'd got Twitter, to be honest. Bigfoot's here at home, size 13 feet. Yeah, mine are 13, either 13 or 14, depending on, um, depending on the shoe. But you know what they say, don't you? About people with big hands and big feet. Yeah? Need big gloves and big shoes. <laughs> uh, probably must offer me money. I doubt it. <laughs> Nobody ever offers me money. They all want it off me, not to give it me. Is he going to go for it? Nah. Well, that's really disappointing, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, he's got boxes full of Amazon stuff in front of car, uh, front of van. Well, hey, right. I'm going to give it till dentist time, and if nothing exciting is happening, then I'm going to uh, call it a day. My inside leg is longer than my waistline. <laughs> Which inside legs that mate? <laughs> it's 
channel's gone away. I don't know. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if it's been taken off or what. When's your next video out? It should be out later on today. It should be. It should be uploading as we speak. Oh, this wind's getting bad now. Thirty-inch waist, thirty-four-inch leg. There you go. I don't tell you what my <laughs> my waist is. <laughs> Dentist time. You've got it. Two thirty. That's it. That's dentist time. So what time's cowboy time then? If dentist time's 2.30. Anybody know? Anybody know what time dentist time is? No, I'm not knocking off at half two. I'm knocking off when my coffee's finished. I'm dry. I'm under my brolly, so... It's just the wind blowing me brolly about. 10 to 10, you've got it. 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 10 to 10. 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 10 to 10. <laughs> what was that? Was that a Lone Ranger? Hi ho, Silver. Yeah, that's going back some years, isn't it? With his big white horse. And Tonto used to call him Kimo Sabe. Whatever that meant. I was supposed to mean I have no idea. High noon. <laughs> yeah, you could say high noon as well. Oh, 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 oh. Got to keep pedaling. Ah, you did a grand job there. No, and they'd have laughed at you on YouTube if you had it done. Oh, dear. Well, are you doing it now, yeah? Yeah, it's on a live stream, yeah, mate. Yeah. I don't know if I was surprised. When I left home, it was sunny. That's right. That's why I keep a... It's England. That's why I keep a bully in... Yeah, I know. You never know, do you? Yeah. It's gone down a lot, that, hasn't it, I do the one down to... I used to go down to Clumber to that one there at Ford. Oh, yeah. But that's really, really slippy. Yeah, that can be. I've been throwing out of before and uh, give a little bit too much for it, or no back end will come out if you're not yeah. careful. Oh, no, it's even slippy to walk on yeah, that. Yeah. And I used to say to people on push bikes, because they used to be there with camera, don't ride through, don't ride through. And they'd be, ah, I'll be right. And, and half of them would fall off and end up in water. Well, only the reason I went through to clean me, to clean me tires all covered in mud. Well, yeah. If you go up there and turn left, it goes all the way through to Old Alton. But it's a, all right. it's, 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 it's a, a bit muddy. Yeah, so the least. The first yeah. thing, it's like going for a bloody field. Is this guy going to go for it? Yeah. He might be down again Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know if I'll be here, mate. I will let you know. DJ's out auditing at the minute. Oh, you've left a review for the scrap dealers. Everybody's doing that, mate. So, where are you from? Are you from around here? Yeah, I'll let you know. Well, on a car, five minutes. Oh, right. On a push bike, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. Or if I was fit, 10, yeah. well. If you were walking half an hour. Yeah, yeah. I like it when you go onto uh, Google, you know, for directions to certain places. Car, yeah. 20 minutes. Bus, three hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Walk. Train, yeah. two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, is it far from where I live? It's about, about 15, 16 miles from where I live, this. So I've been out with camera earlier and uh, wind were kicking up, so I couldn't fly the drone or anything. So I thought I'd call in here on the way home and just get the camera up and do a bit of live streaming, you know. You always get something, yeah. There's always someone that do something stupid. Mm. 
I were down on Sunday and they'd got all the big 4 by 4 crew here. Yeah, they would come down on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, they were tear arsing through him at that house there. He was playing that look. I bet he does. It's, yeah. like, it's literally like a circus down here. Isn't it? Yeah. It, now it's gone right down. It's not very yeah. so much um, to see, really. But when it was, it stayed up for quite a long time. It was farmer come and dredge the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see that. I bet it went down almost in- instantaneously. About 20 minutes yeah, then, it took yeah. to go down. Because yeah. it had stayed quite deep for a long time. Yeah. yeah, it is gone up. It's gone up at least an inch from Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it not take long to 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 block the stream up again. Oh, that's right. You know, yeah. especially autumn, alt leaves oh, and all right. that lot. I've never ever seen it totally uh, dry. You know, dry. Yeah. Never ever seen it totally dry. Yeah. Have I been in the Rufford pub in Mansfield? I am, mate. No. <laughs> No, I haven't. I don't know where it is. Rufford. No, I don't know where it is. Rufford Club. In Mansfield, yeah. I I might look down to gunshot while I'm here and see if they've got any new guns in. (laughs) What, man in all of a sudden, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he opens every day. No. He only opened certain days. All oh, right, I'll have like to go and have a look. Some, uh, pellet, it's not long ago, and uh, we went there, and he was uh, he was shut. You got to ring a bell. There's a bell outside. You give it a ring, and uh, if he's about, he'll come and answer. All right. Can I? Can you give sexy a little bit a shout out, please? <laughs> well, that's a nice name, that. <laughs> okay, uh, sexy a little bit. <laughs> I wonder why you've got that name. Yeah, it's across from the SO. Oh, I, I don't go drinking in Mansfield. Not really. In fact, I don't go drinking anywhere. Yeah. Used to live in New Horton. That's not that far away from here, is it? Yeah. Is, there, is it me or is the rain, rain dropping off a bit? Yeah. Something good, I think, now, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you all the usual suspects. So I think they're bothered now. It's uh, gone down like that. It was getting like a circus down there. You know, in the summer. Yeah, There's so many down there. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and yeah. Those guys coming through at silly speeds and you know, people all stood here. You know, it's well, they were on Sunday. Yeah, like one. There was a in the summer. Some BMW come through, went onto this where we are here, and ended up where them where them pallets were. Yeah, they literally. So if anybody had been stood here, yeah, it would have been uh, hospitalised. Yeah, yeah, worse. You say Huffton, all right. Let the lo- locals hate the knuckleheads in the four befores. I'm sure they do. Might pop over in the Jimmy to play. Yeah, <laughs> it's good fun around here. It really is. It really pisses the neighbours off. I mean, I can't. it was it whinging because I parked my car on pavement over there, like, and it's saying, oh, there's doors banging and this out. Well, they had police out and everything. But they're inside the house. Yeah. I wouldn't even know. No, that's you're, right. You're inside. You're inside the house. If they need, Double glazing and everything. Right, you can't bloody no. And I said to him, I said, how long have you lived here? He says, four years. He says, didn't you know this was happening before you bought the bloody house? That first one here? Yeah. That's rented. Bought that bungalow? Yeah, it's rented, that is. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's not as if they didn't know what... They were, it's like people moving into near near Eagle Airport and complaining about the flight. That's right, yeah. Yeah, that's rented, that one. Cookford Ford is decent too. Where's that? Where's Cookford Ford? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's near um, Newark Way. Oh, is Newark, it? Towards uh, Grantham Way. It's out there. Uh, All right, um, okay. I'll have, to, I'll have to Google Maps it. Yeah, it's, it's very, very deep. It's very narrow. It's very All narrow. Right. It gets really deep. Really deep. All right. You know, Do they get YouTubers down there? I haven't been down there for years. A friend yeah. of mine used to live uh, just outside Newark, and uh, they used to go swimming in it, the river there. All okay. right. <laughs> No, sorry. About, about eight miles from Rufford Mill. No, it's not. Sorry. 
it's on it's near um, on the way to uh, Retford. Sorry, Crockford. All right. If you go to Bow uh, Bow Council, yeah, you can go along this really really um, rough road, and that comes to Crockford. Or you can get to it from uh, oh, just off the A1 there. About two foot at the moment was down last night. Does it get much traffic? No. Yeah. Well, you get like one an hour type thing. It's that. Just by the A1. Yeah. It's a big scrapyard on the other side of that, on the A1, and it's just this side. Oh, I might go and video the scrapyard then. Oh, it's a, sorry. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a big scrapyard. And right by the, the actual Crockford Ford, there's a big, um, I think it's a wood, a wood yard, big wood yard. All right. Yeah, just that's, that's what I normally do. Yeah. I don't normally do yeah. this. Board, 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 it's water. It's not John, is it? I didn't know it was water here, mate. Thought it was liquid gold. <laughs> Is, isn't it? If you ain't got no water. Yeah. I was going to send the location when it gets off the phone. Yeah. There's a scrapyard there. I'm going. Yeah, it's over there beside the A1. All right. Big, quite a big, it's a big yard. Very big yard. Mm. It's called oh, A1. It's A1 I think it's A1 Recyclers, it's called. All right. right. If... Uh, it's got a scrapyard and a Ford. It's got everything. It's got everything. There's a, and there's a wood yard there. I'm sure, I'm sure it's a wood yard. Yeah. So. You know the road from Ollerton to um, the pit? Um, what's that big pit called on the right? If you go out of Ollerton towards, uh, towards Redford, the pit in the issue. Oh, it used to be Bebbico. Bebbico's pit. That's yeah. it. You can get onto the A1 North, can't you, just after it? Yeah. There's a little village to your left. I can't remember the name, but and that, uh, that, the Ford is it's down there. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's just the back of Airfield. Yeah, on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other side. The... Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've been there. I've been to that scrapyard. Has it got a brothel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, mate. <laughs> Why would it have a brothel? I was with Wayne Wright for Cabotech. Well, I believe for Walton's and then second man for a driver delivering the cabins. Can't actually remember who it was. Worked for a long time ago. All right. You're the same as me then. Memory's fading. <laughs> Getting old. Uh, you're going back through, are you? Oh, you're going to... All right. Yeah. It says... I'm absolutely fine. You love I ain't got an accent, John. We're getting some rain, no pee. We certainly are, mate. Yeah. I'm gonna clear off in a bit anyway. Good luck with your channel anyway. <laughs> I'm sure they found it good. I'm sure they found it entertaining. All right. Brilliant. All right. Yeah, it is looking a bit damp. And uh, you're coming towards the end, Matthew. I'm, uh, oh, the water's running down the bonnet of my car onto my arse, and my arse is wet now. I don't know. What kind of div am I? There's some sirens going off in distance.
The ambulance going past. Yo, go for it. Oh, van driver's bottled out. Did I ever puff the devil's lettuce? <laughs> it's about six inch, mate. Really slow and you'll absolutely walk it. Sounds like my phone's ringing. Papa don't take no messing. Hello. Oh. You were lucky enough to walk through the door room, what? Yeah, yeah. I've been sat on bonnet in my car. Under my umbrella, thinking I'm keeping dry, and then realise my arse has got wet. Yes, I know it ran down the bonnet and wet my arse. I'm a knob. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Uh, John says, does your wife mind you out all day? Me and, me and the wife have been separated about seven years, John, so no. <laughs> there you go. Need some bite? I think you mean bubble bath. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I can't hear you. Only I can hear you, darling. Yeah. Right, anyway, I'm packing up now, so I'll give you a ring when I'm all packed up. All right, love. Yeah, so there you go, everybody. That's about it for today. No idea, mate. No idea. Right, so... Uh, that's about it for today. Um, it is raining. There's nothing exciting happening. And uh, it's been absolutely fantastic speaking to everybody. So I'm going to say... I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye, everybody. Oh, hang on. We've got one going for it. We'll watch this one. Yeah, that's the way to do it. It's like this all the time, mate. Bye, everybody. We'll see you soon. Start a Discord. I might do. <laughs> see you later, everybody. Bye.